Yo, what it do, folks? Um, happy New Year's. Happy Christmas. It's been an extremely long time since I've uploaded a video or have done really anything, so I'm very sorry about that for people who really look forward to any of my content and any of my videos. Um, for the last few months or whatever, I'm not sure. If you follow me, then you know and you're aware. But I've been training really hard for KIT uh, 2017, which just happened uh, this weekend. Um, so I haven't really had the chance to really uh, work on any videos or anything and mainly I've been just streaming and uh, training and focusing on that so there'll be some more um, Nagato's two cents coming up in the future and everything uh, pretty much this is gonna be a new thing that I do pretty much my tournament oversight uh, for the big tournaments that I attend and stuff like that um, so this weekend I went to KIT um, 2017 I entered uh, smash Four singles and doubles and doubles I teamed with the homie Ludo so shout out to the homie Ludo um, it was actually our first time teaming and we got I believe like ninth out of uh, like 20 something teams or something like that so um, that's not too bad uh, it's really good um, especially for like KIT being a really big tournament and everything so we did uh, pretty solid um, and uh, for singles I got 33rd out of like 111 people so uh, I believe that is that might be like my or i don't know i think last year i might have placed higher i'm not sure but this year i felt like i did better i'm not sure exactly what my placement was uh last year for kit uh but this year i got 33rd i got fifth in my pools uh my pools were pretty stacked uh i really had some i had some really good people in my pools i had Sonoto, um fucking louisiana mississippi memphis <laughs> uh sonic main i did not have to run across him um, <clears throat> so for my first match, uh, it was on stream or whatever. I played against a corn main, uh, Gil or whatever. So uh, I played him on stream or whatever. Uh, the match should be on YouTube soon. Um, during that set, I felt like uh, it was the first set, and most of the time for like first sets, you don't feel like you. you it's your warm up set pretty much. Like you don't feel like you're playing as optimal as you should be, and um, like that. So I went back and I watched my set, and like my movement and everything wasn't as crisp as it should have been. And like I wanted it to be, but I still did good, and I won the set 2-0. So I mean, it was a really good set, but it wasn't. I felt like I didn't get a chance as far as it being like really my first big stream match or whatever. I felt like I didn't really get a chance to showcase my skills to like really showcase that I have a really solid Lucario, you know. Um, whatever. Um, and my next match uh, was against uh, Ronan X, uh, a Tennessee Ryu main, and um, he won the set over me 2-1. Um, I'm not really upset about losing the set against him. I'm more so upset with myself because there were key things uh, that I noted myself not to end up doing in certain matchups, and I ended up doing that in said matchup. Like, um, I pretty much could have just sat back and played more patient, and I didn't do that. Like, uh, game one, he won it. Um, he won game one. Um, game two, I won it by a lucky shield break. I believe I shot an ore spray at his shield. He jumped on top of the platform and I back aired the shield and it broke it. So I took game two with a uh, shield break. And um, game three, uh, it was going down to the wire. Um, and pretty much, like, he was playing really defensive. And out of all the U reuse and everything that I practiced against, I wasn't really accustomed to the, um, the defensive play style. So uh, I was adjusting to it and everything that I like practiced and I had in mind for the said matchup, I wasn't just really ready for. I wasn't really ready for uh, him being so defensive and that's what kind of threw me off. And I think like in my tournament play itself, like I'm not really like uh, adaptive enough. Like I understand what to do, but it's hard to like download that and incorporate that into my play. And I feel like that's like the, the biggest issue that I'm having uh, as far as tournament play go. Um, for myself and I'm working to uh, overcome that like I mean I have like a lot of knowledge and everything and it's just hard to um, Incorporate that better into my tournament play so um, game three um, It was first first stock first stocks were like pretty even I got him in the lead I believe I took the first stock and then I didn't really get a chance to build up much like or and then he immediately came out and took my stock So it was going down to the wire or whatever um no, no, no. I believe he took the first stock. Yeah, he took the first stock and ended up taking his second stock. And then um, I was at pretty much, I was at like a decent percent. And the thing about Lucario versus Ryu, like once you get to around 70%, you really have to just avoid being close to Ryu. And you have to, um, oh, this thing is shaking. Uh, let's see if I can um, put this up on something. 
I said, so it doesn't do that. Um, so like, uh, pretty much like, um, I didn't like, I didn't play uh, safe enough or whatever. So like, I ended up um, like, like he had me on the corner. We're playing on battlefield, and he pretty much had me on the edge of the stage, and I was uncomfortable. So um, I did like empty move. You, most of the time when you try to, you know, you try to play the neutral a bit, you kind of do some empty movements. And with Lucario, it's kind of just like uh, muscle memory and natural to do like B reverses and stuff like that. So I ended up B reversing onto him and he read it and he up tilted me and it killed me. So it was my fault. I kind of should have just stayed in the corner. I should have kind of just stayed in the area that I was in and kind of just shot him in um, ore spirits and pressured him away from me, you know, and or like just found another way to get around him to regain stage control. So he had stage control and it kind of pressured me to be reversing on him and making a very bad option. And I've been getting on myself a lot about my option select because my option select is lately is it's just poor. Like I feel like my option select is just poor. Like I made I make bad options that I shouldn't. Like I I know deep down inside if I listen into the voice into my head, like I would do a lot better. Um so um <clears throat> I ended up losing that by the one thing I knew I shouldn't have done, and that's like at 70% get close to Ryu at all. So I lost that. Uh, my next match after that, I got a bye. Uh, the guy got DQ because he wasn't there apparently. So my next match, I played against a uh, Georgia player by the name of Cap. He was a um, he was a Diddy man. Uh, game one, I believe I two stocked him, um, and then game two was uh, pretty. Uh, it was it went down to the wire. It went down pretty close, and I ended up beating him. Uh, I want to set 2-0. Uh, it was it was pretty good or whatever. You know, I've uh, been practicing the the Diddy matchup to get myself more comfortable with it. So, because um, this time I wasn't gonna allow myself to come to a tournament and lose to a Diddy main. So I've been practicing and getting ready for it to like play a Diddy main and just be ready for them. So I went into the matchup very confident. Saw him pick Diddy and I was like, I got this. You know. So um, the next person I had to play was Emperor Evie, who's a really really fucking good. Um, um, Bayo main from Ohio, I believe. So, um, the thing about Emperor Eevee was he, he didn't do the things that I expected him to do in the matchup, like certain things. It just goes to show that I really, really need to grind out more matchups more to, you know, experience a little bit of the different more play styles that people play. So I was more so expecting him to side B towards me a lot. Um, and he really didn't. He just played the neutral really good. Game one, he got uh, some really, he got a really good early kill on me uh, with a gimp. I died at like 20 something percent. So game one, he won it solid as fuck. Like he just, he straight out beat me. Uh, game two, we were going down to the wire, uh, pretty much close. And I'd also did the one thing that I know I'm not supposed to do in that matchup. And that's B reverse at high percent on to Bayonetta for the simple fact that if she witch times it, that uh, it's a free kill for her. And I ended up B reversing on to him. He read the B reverse and he witch timed me and I died. And like, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm more so, I'm not upset about my tournament placing at all. I'm more upset with myself by doing the, the things that I know that I was not supposed to do in that, like in those sets, like, like I know that I wasn't supposed to make those options. And once again, my bad option select got me lost. So I feel like a lot of the times I end up killing myself by my option select. So uh, I'm looking forward to really working on to like uh, improving my option select and just improve my whole overall optimal play, uh, better my neutral and everything like that. Um, so yeah, overall I had a really good experience at Kit. Um, I really had got to sit down and I got to play a lot of uh, like out of state people or whatever. Uh, so it was always fun and hype meeting new players. I got to play Pug West. Uh, that dude's a monster. Like, uh, and uh, the first set we played in friendlies or whatever, he wanted. Uh, I took one game. Uh, he won three one, and then the next one he just demolished me three zero. So uh, playing Pug West was pretty fun. Uh, Pug West is a pretty cool guy. Like he's pretty cool and uh, chill and everything. Um, also met uh, for the second time. I met the Buzz, and it was funny. I walked up to Buzz. And I was like, Do you remember him? He's like, Yeah, you know Gato. And I'm like, This man remember me. So it was pretty cool. You know, like. Re meeting like a pro player and they knowing who you are. I also played the Buzz and Friendlies and like I did pretty good against his Rose or whatever. So Friendlies really don't matter much, but it's just always good to like be able to have that chance to play pro players or whatever to see how well you do and everything like that. Um, even though you know they're not really like tournament mode, I'm gonna tear your ass up type thing. Um, so it, I had a pretty good experience. I really really enjoyed uh, this KIT uh, KIT 2018 more than I did last year. Um, I really enjoyed this one. I got to get a lot of friendlies in with a lot of people. I think that uh, leaving KIT, um, I kind of like leveled up a bit. Uh, my tournament mind state is a little bit better and everything. So uh, yeah, and overall it was a really good tournament and everything. Uh, I'll be making another one of these tournament like overviews, just me 
whatever, whatever the fuck this is, uh, after every tournament or whatever. So, um, yeah, look out for him. Uh, the next tournament I plan on, the next big tournament I tan, uh, plan on attending will probably be King of the Springs. It's in Arkansas. There are a, a lot of big headliners coming. Uh, Vinny, Soul, uh, there's a few other ones or whatever. So that's the next tournament I'm getting ready for. Hopefully, uh, I can make uh, top 32. Uh, that's my goal. Uh, is to just keep outplacing myself and uh, somewhere I'll keep track of all my tournament places so at the end of the year I can see my progression. So KIT 2018 was the, the fuck year is this? 2017 was the first tournament of uh, my year, uh, my smash year this year. And I got uh, 33rd. Uh, I'm not too really upset about the placement. I know I could have done better and I should have done better. So I'm always going to be hard on myself, but I'm going to accept it and only be hard on myself for the simple fact that I lost my matches because of the options that I made. So uh, next tournament, I'm going to just better those options and everything like that. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Uh, catch me with some more YouTube videos. I'm going to really, really try to get back into uh, working on this YouTube channel. Um, and like I said, Happy New Year's to you guys. And uh, for all my like people that really, really watch my YouTube videos and everything like that, uh, sorry that I haven't uploaded a video lately. Uh, so see you guys in the Gato Out, man.